To the anti-thuggery committee says it has arrested three suspects for allegedly supplying sim packs, hard drugs, illegal substances, and sexual enhancers to bandits in their hideouts. Theophilus Darufai has details. The heavy use of illicit drugs by armed bandits and kidnappers is one of the reasons the war in Nigeria's northwest is still ravaging. The frequent use and abuse of illicit drugs account for the ruthlessness of their attacks on innocent persons, especially travelers. Suppliers of drugs to bandits have continued to devise new ways of beating security checks and are also finding new smuggling routes, some of which are controlled by the bandits. The Zamfara state government has devised new security measures to curb banditry and other heinous crimes. These include shutting down of some major routes used by the bandits and kidnappers. And it's yielding results with the state anti thuggery committee recently intercepting a vehicle loaded with hard drugs and other items. The items were meant to be delivered to bandits along the Sado Magami Wenke Road, which is also one of the routes shut down by the state. Three suspects were arrested in connection with the crime and their operational vehicle confiscated. About 12 to 1 o'clock there about, we arrested uh, this gentleman with a uh, golf. Front of the golf, there we are gunshots in his bonnet. We discovered that there are snobs and also there are some uh, caution of uh, the product that contains what is called tetrahydrocannabinol. The Kokura is a solution. It contains cannabis, cannabinol. Three other suspects were arrested for snatching mobile phones at a wedding ceremony in Tudung Wadaguso. They are now adopting a new strategy. They do go to where they are doing ceremony to come out with any type of dangerous weapon and scattered everybody. One boy they did the weapon. I just said collected the two hundred and just like that. The Zone for State Anti Thuggery Committee was established to complement the move of security agencies against political thuggery and other criminal collaborators in the state. The committee has representatives from security agencies and the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLE. Chairman of the committee, Bell Lubaikiaswa, warned members of the public to desist from involving themselves in activities which enable criminal elements. The suspects, according to the committee, will be handed over to relevant agencies for further interrogation. Thief Les Darufai, TVC News, Guso.